Gotcha. All right, we're not running nowhere, going down, no how. Come on in. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Greetings, good evening, good afternoon. Hello, wonderful morning. Hi, God, I tell you, I bless your name this morning. I magnify the name of the Lord. I lift your name on high, Father, as those who are coming in. We just bless you. We say this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We are blessing you this morning, Father. We are magnifying your name. Hallelujah. We are lifting you on high. We are declaring that our God God is God and he alone, halibosharabanse, he alone is God and besides him there is not another. We will open our mouth and declare and decree. We will say what he says. We will be who he declares us to be and we will establish his kingdom with one single piece of artillery. We will use our mouth. We will use our tongue. We will use our governorship. We will release our legislative power. Come on in to power scope because we're not playing this morning. It is time and the fullness of time for our tongue to speak, for our words to go forth. This is the day. This is the hour and we are the people and we are not taking down. We are not afraid we are not in derision. We are not in some kind of halt. We are not. We understand that our God has given us the mic. He has given us the judgment. He has given us the authority. Come on. I ain't got time this morning to even greet you. You know who you are. We know you're all over the world. We just got to go right in this morning because there are many against us, but not more than with us. <laughs> there are many against us, but not more than with us. And so we declare and decree this morning that we have within us a gangster, I'm terrible, a gangster governor, a gangster governor who knows the legislative power of the word of God. We understand that we have read the law. We have looked at the commandments. We understand the covenant and we are not going to be silent about it. Let your voice roar this morning. Let your voice speak this morning. Get out of sleep. No more sleep. It's time to speak. No more sleep. It's time to speak. It's time to lift your voice and sing. It's time to lift your voice and speak. It's time to lift your voice and declare and decree. So Father, we come this morning decreeing over our sphere, decreeing over our mountain, decreeing over our family, decreeing over our business, decreeing over our ministry, whatever scorpion, whatever snake, whatever thing have tried to crawl and to creep in and to cause division and to cause strife. God, today we take the axe, we take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and we lay it to the root. We cut the head off the beast. We trample under our feet the scorpion. We come against the cockatrice eggs, we say tabando roboso that this space is clean. That's what we say. We declare it and decree it. <laughs> now it shall be. Now, not tomorrow. In the moment that we speak it, oh God. In the moment that we declare it, oh heavens. In the moment that we release the arsenal. That we release the artillery. That we release Otobo, the magnum. Oh, Kata. There is a magnum in your mouth. Come on. Hey, but, 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 ta, ta, ta. There is a magnum in your mouth. Folk want to pack with a magnum gun. No, you got the gun. No, you got the sword. No, you have the the, the peace that will go forth and meet the with the maker. Meet the, the maker of all the mischief. Who is the mischief maker? Who is the one who's starting all this strife? Who is the one who's trying to come in with, with, with rebellion? Who is this one that's trying to come in and cause division? Come on. Ah, our arsenal heated missile is looking for it. Who is it? Where is it? How is it? 
Come on here. Tara manche. We don't stop and wonder, oh God, please, Jesus, Lord. No, no. Open your mouth. Declare your position. Understand your rank and fire. I don't care if you are just getting started. You better say, I have what God has given me and I will use it. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm just out the box this morning. I was struggling with some pieces and I said, okay, now wait a minute. Either I'm going to lay here and think in my head. Or I'm going to do what I know. And that's used by mouth. See, either your mind going to be in prayer without no power. See, when the words stay in your mouth, <laughs> I mean in your head and not in your mouth, when they stay in your mind, that's not prayer. That's not authentic, powerful prayer. If you thinking about it, that's not prayer. You just thinking about it. If you speaking it out your mouth, if you are commanding it, if you are declaring it, now we doing something. Hey, now we talking. Now we cooking with gas. Now we are getting the steak on the grill. Now we got the baked potatoes in the oven. But if we just in here, if all your words are staying in here and all you doing is, is going round and round and round and round and round, then you are mulling. You are not praying. It's called mulling. The words are mulling, 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 mulling. But they are not pew. They are not pow. They are not Boom. They ain't blowing up nothing. They ain't making contact with the adversary. They are not moving against principalities. They are not ordering systems. They are just mulling, 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 mulling. So either you're going to have power might in where you are praying, declaring, decreeing, or you are mulling. <laughs> So I decide I ain't mulling. I, God ain't create me. Give me authority and power to lay in the bed and mull. <laughs> I said, no mulling. I have to open my mouth real loud. And since I have the ability and the tools, why don't I open my mouth across the globe? Ah, shaka. Why, why don't I just use that? process. Use that thing that's really been given to me. And that's this. Use it with stealth. Use it with power. Well, good morning. <laughs> I'm Yolanda Powell and you are on with me for Power Scope this morning. We came in with a bang and a boom. We came in because we had to clear the atmosphere. We came in because, you know, uh, a, a, a certain snake decided to be on my doorstep yesterday when I came home and surprised me. A bl big old black snake. But I said, oh, y'all mad? <laughs> y'all y'all sent a little snake uh to talk we don't talk to snakes we don't we don't deal with serpents we kill them we destroy them oh, okay and then when i walked in my office we had three three black wasp oh y'all y'all rip y'all done sent your little your little imps okay well let's deal with this then kill Kill, 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 kill and destroy. Kill and destroy. So I figure since they trying to show up on me, I just show up on them, you know. It's, instead of me coming in nice, I thought I'd just blow up the place. How about you? What are you blowing up this week? What do you have to blow up? I done told you mine. What's yours? What is trying to bring you into the same old, same old, and then try to brush you down and then try to intimidate you? Because we're not intimidated. We are not intimidated by the adversary. We're not intimidated by aliens. <laughs> Demons are aliens. They are fallen principalities. We call them the Bini Elohim, the sons that were in position with God. And now you his son, so they mad. So they jealous. So come on, got jealous demons, got envious demons, got folk talking, talking, talking demons. But listen, listen, here's the word of the Lord and I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to give you this real quick <clears throat> and then we're going to be on our way. Job was a man that pleased God. I want you to, to, to hashtag Job 22, 27 through 28. Job 22, 27 through 28. And our, our title today is I decree and declare the gangster governor and liberated legislator within you. I'm declaring that to you this morning. I'm declaring that you are a gangster governor. Uh, and a liberated legislator to handle the righteous judgments 
and holy writ of God. I am declaring and dec I'm saying it. I'm telling you as one who understands how to come through hardship, 35 years, three decades of fighting, three decades of declaring, three decades plus and a half, 35 years this October of telling everything. This is what it shall be. This is where I'm going to live. These are the kind of children that I'm going to raise. This is the man that will love who God loves and do what he's. This is the people that we are raising. This is the leadership style that we are contending with, you know. And so one of the things that I will not tolerate in the body of Christ is schism. Schism and divisiveness are demonic. Whenever there is a breach in the force and in the battalion, Battalion in the platoon is what I'm trying to get in the platoon or the battalion of God. Then as a general in that army and a rank and file by Christ himself, epaulets on my shoulder, hand upon my head. I understand that it is my responsibility. And now as a general to make sure the troops are united. That means a lot to me because we cannot have an adversary and be in internal war. So if anything in your house, anything in your business, anything in your ministry is in internal conflict, then that is your only responsibility right here, right now. I don't care what it is. I don't care if you're still trying to run a program and you're still trying to pay the bills and you're still trying to move things. No, no. If there is strife, if there is contention, if there is schism, if there is breach, that means, listen to me, very clear. That means that words have been spoken that are now like dynamite, now like, watch this, like arsenal coming against the house of God. And so we don't play that. <clears throat> we don't allow words because we know the power. Come on, say, I know the power. I know word power. One on one is their catalyst for change. Now, that change can come good or bad, right? Righteous or evil, up or down. So I understand the power of words. So listen, in my space, and in my place and in my life, I do not allow destructive words that are coming against the unity of my being or those around me. So if anybody's coming with negativity, if anybody's coming with divisiveness, if you are whispering, if you are talking to the person sitting in the pew seat next to you and saying, I don't even know why we these people get on. No, you need to shut that down because the enemy is looking for what? A mouth. <laughs> That's all he want. He not what you think he's looking for. You, he's look, he's looking for a mouth. He needs words. He needs word power. He needs the, this. He needs this. Who can he use? Who can he get to? Who can he stop? Who can he manipulate? Who can he destroy with words? So I am declaring and decreeing that I don't rose up and you two with me against the governor. A liberated legislator to handle within us and bring out of us the words of life, the words of power that will confront and con and what and collide and ultimately annihilate the words of the adversary. You think the enemy is fighting you just with with evil? What kind of evil? Word evil, uh, unrighteous evil, a uh, whispering evil backbiting evil. These are the words that the enemy is using the same arsenal that we're using to create. He's using to destroy. He's using to defile. He's using all of the influx of words and images are constantly taking us somewhere that we don't need to be. Am I talking right? All right. We have rose up together to govern. You better say that. I'm serious. Come on here. We don't have time. Words are powerful. So we've got to learn how to be better magistrates of the word of God. Better magistrates, that's what judges do. They listen to a preponderance of evidence based on, on the mouth, on words, on, on the case, on the vindication, on the judgments of what the attorneys are saying. What I'm saying to you, and I'm all off my scope. I was going somewhere else, but God knows I feel the impetus of the spirit to exhort you that you got to be the gangster, that you got to be the liberator, that you got to speak words to confront this age, to confront these systems, to confront the darkness, to confront the evil that is trying to slip around us, be at our door 
step coming out off as black snakes, black scorpions, black wasps. Come on here. What the devil loose here? So they are manifesting themselves in my space is as animal kingdom. But I understand that there are words that have been sent against me. Are y'all here? There are words that have been talking, words that have been formulating. Oh, who she thinks she is. Oh, why she thinks she can be. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Those are words. They're just manifesting as animals. They're, 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 they're manifesting as slithers. They're, they're, they're manifesting as flyers, but they are words. And so just like the devil got words that manifest and bring forth things that fly and move and creep, we have words that take authority over that and completely annihilate. Now, I'm going to say this and I'm going to be good description and we're going to be out of here. When, when Moses goes to the court, to the high ranking office of Pharaoh in Egypt to contend for the people of God, he was dealing with words. They are slaves. They will always be slaves. They will always work for us. They will never be free. Not giving any consideration to their history or to who they were. And what I'm saying is God says, I need a gangster. I need a governor. I don't need nobody who just a shepherd today. This ain't no, you ain't no little lambs and no little sheep today. I need a gangster governor. I need someone who understands how to move in judicial systems. I need someone who understands how to move in governmental systems. I need someone who's been in the green room of God, who has been in my room with me, understanding holy writ, understanding the movement of God, understanding the word of God, because I need a liberator, one who can legislate liberation on behalf of my people. So God sends Moses into the court of Pharaoh, into the house of Pharaoh, into the governmental office of Pharaoh. And what happens in that space? Ladies and gents, come on here. I need you to get this today and I need you to get this for this week because there are many against us, but not more than with us. Come on here. There are so many against us, but not more than with us. Come on, slap. All right, slap by. So here's what Moses does. Moses goes in before Pharaoh. Pharaoh, he, he pissed now. He mad because he's like, who you think you are? You just a shepherd boy. You ain't smell good. You ain't got no cologne on. You been outside. You know, I'm the king. I've been bathed by, by, by 17 women this morning. I smell good. I look good. I'm buff. I, be, I have my workout. I have my the best of the land. But it don't matter what they got. <clears throat> it don't matter what we got because we got, come on, within us, the word of God. We have the ability to decree and to declare. Come on here. And so here's what Moses does. Moses stands in the court. Pharaoh got real, 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 you know, kind of puffed up. He calls his magicians. He calls his magicians to come on and show this, show this shepherd, show this, this boy that he ain't got no power over Egypt and Egypt's gods. So the, the magicians come in, right? And they come in and they're going to do, they're going to do animal kingdom. That's what Satan liked to play. He liked to play animal kingdom because he don't know how to show up really for real because he's a fallen, he's a fallen angel. So he uses the magicians and the magicians throw down their rods and snakes appear. And so the snakes are slithering around out of being a rod, out of being a stick. They become, they become servants. And, and so God pushes Moses in his back, right? Moses, God's like, Moses, come on, gangster, come on, rise up. Gangster governor, come on. He pushes him in his back. He's a liberated one. Come on, the legislator. Show what the kingdom is like. And so here's what Moses does. And this is what you get ready to do this week. Moses says, oh, you got three running around. I don't got one. I ain't got but one, but watch this. Pow! He throws the rod of God down on the thing. And this snake of God, the biggest snake of God, swallows up the three. <laughs> Say one, three. <laughs> one, three. One, three. Three. So God is saying to you today, all you got to do is stay with the legislation. Stay with that which is written. Stay with that which is declared. Because there's going to be many snakes. There's going to be many things trying to throw many magicians. But God said there's a people that have the governorship of God. They have the legislation of the Lord. They understand that they are gangster. They understand that they are liberators. And they will decree and declare. Now in Job 22, 27 <clears throat> through 28. 
It says, you will pray to him. And this is Eliphaz uh, talking and exhorting a uh, Job. He says, you will pray to him and he will hear you talking to God. You will pray to God and he will hear you and you will pay your vows. You will, you will keep your promises. But he said, you will also, this is, and, and I believe in the whole, in the text of Holy Writ, God gives Eliphaz sh an illumination. I believe that Eliphaz was trying to just kind of just, you know, just kind of be nice. But all of a sudden, nice didn't work his revelation. And he says to Job, he says, you shall, you will also decree a thing and it will be established for you. It will be established for you and light will shine on your path and Boom, you will know what to do. It's going to be like all of a sudden, God's going to, you're going to pray, you're going to decree, you're going to hear. He said, no, you're going to pray. He's going to hear you. He said, but then you're going to get up real tall like Moses. You're going to sit up in your chair. You're going to pull your stuff in and you're going to be, you don't move from prayer dimension to decree, declare dimension. When you move from just praying, God's already heard you in prayer. The moment you said it, he said it. See, the moment you prayed, he said it. Once it came out of your mouth and it wasn't mulling, once it moved from mulling to speaking, once you spoke it out of your mouth, God heard you. So let's get that clear. God hears his children. God hears it. Your mom, you hear, you are heard by your father. All right. So, but the thing that the Eliphaz, the illumination comes, watch this. When he said, wait a minute, not only will you pray and God hear you, wait a minute. He backs up. He said, you also going to decree. You going to move into decree. What is decree? Oh Lord, I got to get out of here. I don't want to be long. He says, you will, you will become an official. You will make an official order issued by a legal authority. That's what it means to decree. An official order, you guys, oh Lord, made by an Oh, a legal authority. So God says, not only are you going to pray to me as my babies, as my children, as my sons and daughters. He says, there's a season for praying to me and I'm going to hear you. Eliphaz saw that. He said, but all of a sudden there's going to come another illumination. <sighs> And that illumination is going to be, not only shall you pray to me and I'm going to hear you, but I'm going to make you an official legal authority to wait a minute, to officiate an order. Ooh, 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 to release an order, to, to release a legislative governed order. Wait a minute. So we don't just become people who just pray, pray. Oh, Jesus, Lord. Oh, Father, we just bless your name, God. Oh, Lord. We no, no, no. Uh-uh. We move from just praying so that he hears us to being his representatives. Oh, oh. being his gangster governors, being his liberated, uh-oh, his liberated legislators. And now we move from just praying warriors. We ain't even warring here. Now we move into declaration. We move into decree. And it says when we declare it, when we declare it, we say something in such a solemn and emphatic manner that everything responds. A decree and a declare. We've been hearing that a while, but I'm trying to explain it to you. That when you decree, you are making an official order because you are a legal authority. Oh, Jesus. And when you declare, you are saying that thing, that order, not just because of who you are, but how you say it. And the who, the legislator, who, the governor, who, the legal authority, now says it with power and force. Now with such emphatic authority and might that everything responds to you. I got to go, but you have got to know that that's who you are. I declare and decree you are a gangster governor. You are a liberated legislator. You are not bound by nobody. You ain't scared of nothing. You will not take down at any time. You have the ability. You have the authority. You have the power. You have it. It's not out there. It's not over there. It's within you. So I decree it today. I declare today. Run on with that because that's going to help 
help you. Ooh, that's going to help you today. Now, listen, I am still opening and kept open for you uh, the video essay uh, showcase. We're just showcasing. I know if you say contest, I thought about it. I said, well, if I say contest, y'all going to get scared. Don't get scared of contest. It's a showcase. I need to showcase you. I need to hear you. I need to know why you want to be on the seven mountains. I need you to send me. Uh, I need you to go first to powerspeaklive.com. We are going to be releasing your vocal velocity on the seven mountains on July 30th. It is a Saturday. It is an all day professional ministerial kingdom leadership time of training and development. You do not want to miss Power Speak Live 2016. So to learn more about this video essay where I'm giving away two Vocal Velocity VIP tickets, I am giving them to whoever says, it, and it moves our heart to say, oh, you need to be there. You need to be there. So you need to get your two-minute video piece together and send it to info at YolandaPowell.com. But you can't know that what to do with it unless you go to PowerSpeakLive.com and get those requirements. All right. So remember, gangster, you run in the planet. Remember, legislator, you are judicially the legal authority of God. And whatever you say, that's what it will be. Blessings to you, power to you, and watch this stand up, but speak out because that's where your power is. All right. Your mouth is your weapon and your mouth is mighty. Have a great day. We'll talk to you real soon. Blessings.